video. I will hit the mute button if I can find it. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, um, let me go ahead and get started. I think, uh, I think we're all here. So uh, first off, sorry I missed you guys yesterday. Uh, or was it yesterday? The day before, I guess. Um, you know, university schedule, Tuesday, Thursday is one block, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the other, and it doesn't change from week to week. So uh, I kind of got uh, blindsided. Uh, that was my fault, I should have known better. But, uh, but you know, we're all learning, so, so it's okay. Um, in any case, what I'm going to do today is what I wanted to do last time, and that is that I want to start with uh, um, the, uh, the book, the, the bits book, you know, blown to bits. And uh, there's uh, a number of uh, innovations that it describes in, uh, in the reading that I asked you to do. I think it was pages 22 to 35. So what I want to do is uh, spend maybe half the class on this. And uh, for each one of these innovations, I want you to give me, number one, what is the innovation, okay? Um, number two, I need to know, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you know, what are some of the effects that that innovation has, you know? Uh, I want at least two, a positive one and a negative one. and um, and the other thing that I'd like is uh, to kind of see an impact, you know, what group of people are really affected by this innovation and in what way. And I want you to connect the dots so that from exactly what the innovation does to why that affects that group of people. Okay. So um, let's start with the first one. It was a, a smile while we snap. Um, I'm looking for a volunteer to kind of tell me what the innovation is. Who wants to volunteer? Don't all jump in at once. Okay. So who's speaking? Can't hear you. Keith, want to try again? (laughs) 
Okay. Let's, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and, uh, and give us your, your answer via chat. I think we can make that work. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll uh, relay anything in here that, uh, that I want everyone to be real aware of. Oh, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's actually address that right now first, because that's really important before we get to, to the rest of our discussion. And that is the uh, perk numbers. Okay. Um, I hate to tell you, but the perk numbers are kind of uh, what the university does for registration purposes. So uh, I, I can't quite get around those. Um, have you tried talking to UW uh, counseling? I'm bringing up their website. Okay, and here's their phone number. So uh, if you haven't done this already, just give them a call today, okay? Don't, uh, we, we gotta do this very, very quickly. Uh, give them a call today and just tell them, this is who I am, very important phrase, I am a high school guest, okay? And uh, I'm trying to register for Computer Science 2000. Okay, they know about us. Okay, so uh, they don't really need to advise you in any certain sense, right? You're taking this class. So uh, they should just say, oh, okay, I understand. And just tell them, I need my perk number so I can register for it. They will give it to you. Okay, and, uh, and that's it. You need to know your name. You need to know your W number, maybe. Okay, and, uh, and that's it. Just make sure to call them maybe as early as after this class. Just get it done. Uh, once you have that, please email me your name and your W number. Actually, you can even do that before you have your perk number. Send me that if you haven't registered. Your name and your W number. Uh, my uh, assistant needs to do some magic so that you can sign up for this class. Otherwise, it says that you're blocked. And uh, that's simply because uh, I wanted to make sure that none of the university students signed up for it. I just want you guys, the high school students, okay? Um, yeah, actually, uh, you are already logged in. So, I mean, you're already in the course, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. And in fact, if you go to the course website, um, okay, I gave you the link that goes into the people. Okay. That's one of the things you can click on the left-hand side. Um, if you, see the, if you don't see the people link, just try to log in to our courses. Don't just visit as a guest, just log in. And uh, you should actually see yourself in there, okay? So, uh, so if you're there, you're done. You don't have to worry about it, okay? If you're not, again, call the uh, counseling center at UW. Tell them that you're a high school guest registering for COSI 2000, that you're already attending. You need the perk number, then you can go to Wire Web and just say register for this. You are done, okay? But uh, but those need to happen as soon as as you can get it done. Uh, anybody else have that uh, uh, other problems? Okay. Does that seem clear? Kind of the one, two, three steps. Okay. If um, again, if this is uh, good. Good. Uh, if this is um, still an issue, okay, uh, talk to your high school counselor and tell them that we really need we to really resolve this quickly because the uh, uh, <laughs> university will run out of uh, time, okay? So, so we want to deal with this today or tomorrow. All right. Um, let me continue unless anyone else has, uh, has issues here. Okay, what's the other issue? Uh, 
Okay, um, some of you owe money for this class, okay? Uh, what we need to do is uh, talk to your high school counselor, okay? Uh, there is a fund that is used for high school students to take university courses, okay? And that's where that money gets paid out of, okay? So that should not come out of your pocket at all, okay? Um, so talk to your counselor, let them know about it, give them the email, right? And say, hey, I believe the name of the fund is the Boches Fund. Yeah, B-O-C-E-S, okay? Uh, actually, we're, we're still dealing with registration issues, then I want to get back to the actual course, okay? All right, Joe. So, uh, so anyway, with the, um, with the Boches Fund, they will pay for it. Uh, not one of you needs to, needs to actually pay. Now, uh, in the past, I've had, uh, my son has taken some university courses, and I always worry, and so I have a tendency to pay for it, and then they reimburse me directly, right? But that takes like four or five months, and so you don't want to do that, <laughs> okay? So uh, if you, you get that, don't worry about it. Go to your high school counselor. They will know what to do. If they don't know what to do, tell them to talk to me and we'll, uh, we'll get it done, okay? Any other uh, strange issues? This is the time, this is the place. Let's get them all, okay? <laughs> ah, yes, well, logistical issues. We need to change rooms or something. Uh, all right, well, let me know. I mean, that's, uh, we, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? <laughs> okay. If you guys are moving with your laptops, and some of you have done that, it gives me motion sickness as you walk around with the, <laughs> and it's like, ah, you know, but we'll survive. Okay, um, any other issues before we get to the class? Okay, all right, so let's go back to our discussion then. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna talk about uh, hungry, sorry, I can't order pizza from here, but, uh, but I'll leave that to you. Um, the uh, snap, uh, sorry, I forgot the name of it. Yeah, smile where we, while we snap. So who can tell me what the computing innovation is? Cameras and cell phones, and that can be used to monitor various people things. Okay, that is a pretty, pretty good summary. Um, is it only cell phones? Yeah, cameras in general, right? You know, I mean, there's, there's video cameras in so many places. It's hard to keep track of. And, and, if, and if you are to believe the um, uh, television stories, and by that I mean fiction stories, um, if you know how to use a computer, then you can just log in and find anybody in the world because of all the available cameras within five seconds. Um, don't believe that. That's actually not true. But... Um, but perhaps it's closer to the truth than, than, than we might expect, okay? Uh, some cities, like London, are incredibly uh, camera -ed. I mean, there's just a camera at almost every street corner. Um, some cities in the U.S. are headed in that direction, too, okay? Um, okay, so, so what's the innovation? The innovation is cameras? Okay, do we have a consensus on that? If you have a webcam on yours, you can nod. Okay, yeah, yeah. Consensus, you can say that in the, uh, in the chat, okay? Okay, so we have some good questions here from Hayden, which is, uh, is one thing to have a lot of cameras, it's another thing to actually have somebody watching the cameras all the time, right? You know, it's, uh, it's useless if all you're doing is taking pictures. If nobody ever looks at them, then we gain nothing, right? So, so that's a good thing to, uh, to bring up, okay? Um, all right, 
Uh, before I, I, I want to address that, and Hayden, if, if we don't come back to that, please ping us, okay? And say, hey, wait a minute, you said we were going to talk about this. But, uh, but I want to leave that because it actually fits one of the other sections really well, okay? Um, for now, one thing I want to say is, is this a computing innovation? Uh-oh, I see people moving. Are we changing rooms or something? Ah. Uh. No, okay, well, let's, see. let's see what happens. Okay, so, um, so if we have all these cameras, uh, is this a computing innovation, having it all the time? Okay, is that a computing innovation? A mechanical innovation I'm, I'm hearing, right? What else, what do you think of? Okay, let's do a show of hands. I can see six people, okay? But uh, do you believe it's a computing innovation? Maybe only one person is voting. Come on, guys, you're old enough to vote. Oh, okay, so yeah, uh, no, not a computing innovation. Um, okay. Um, here's a subtlety: the use of EXIF is more of a computing innovation. Okay, uh, everybody know what EXIF is. Right, it is. Uh, it's just a standard, right? Uh, and what it does is, when you take a picture, it actually doesn't just take the picture. It leaves a little inf extra information about it. It's called metadata. It's data that's not direct data, like the picture, but it's data about the data. So it's data about the picture. So it might tell us this picture was taken at this time from this location. If your camera has a GPS, and by the way, it actually might store lots of things that are interesting to photographers, like. Uh, this were the settings that you had in your lens. This was the kind of lens that you used to take this picture, et cetera, right? So you might be able to understand the effects and, and recreate it, right, as an artist. Okay, so, so yeah, um, all of that is, uh, is there, okay? Um, let's see, do we consider those computing innovations, right? I mean, I kind of got the idea of using uh, um, uh, what you might call it, uh, EXIF, the metadata as computing. Okay, so so we seem to believe that. Okay. Um, all right. The uh, I want to I want to talk about Dylan, and I guess he's quoting Joel from previously. The um, having having uh, digital cameras lets us collect pictures uh, in a digital form that a computer can read. Okay. And then we can use that to train machine intelligences to look at the picture and tell us something about it, right? And, uh, and that's actually the way that some things have uh, happened in the past. Um, the, the innovation there perhaps would not be the, the actual camera, but it would be the, um, the machine intelligence, right? Or it might be that we're now giving the data to the machine intelligence. So it really is the camera feeding something that we had before. It depends on how you think about it, right? But I want you to really, you know, zoom in on innovation. This is what it is, okay? So uh, we're gonna take, and, and this is just provisional, okay? I'm gonna simply say, for now, let's just say that, uh, that uh, the innovation is the metadata because that is a new technology, and I'm answering Hayden's question. Um, that's the, uh, you know, is the technology or how we use it? Well, it's something that a computer is doing, right? So the innovation means that the computer could not do something yesterday, but it can do something today. Right, so um, by, by collecting the data digitally in a form that a computer can see it, that's a new thing, right? It lets it do something new today, right? Okay, um, so who benefits from this? Why do we benefit from having cameras? Actually, let me rephrase that, okay? I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Let me just start by asking, is this a positive thing? in general, right? What is a positive side effect of having all these cameras everywhere? Any ideas? Being able to see what you normally wouldn't. Uh, I need some clarification on that. Um, art, yeah, you can do stuff. You know, I mean, you can actually generate nice uh, artistic things you couldn't do before. I'll take that. 
Okay, so we can see what happened rather than hearing multiple sides of like a crime, right? You actually have real evidence. Uh, eyewitnesses are notoriously unreliable because every eyewitness of a, of a powerful emotional event like a crime will remember it vividly, but will remember different things, right? You know, our memories just aren't that good. So, uh, so we're sure we're right, but we might actually be wrong, okay? Uh, historical records, okay? You know, so uh, wouldn't it be nice if you had some of this stuff, like say the Declaration of Independence, right? You know, um, it'd be cool, right? Or, or many other kind of historically important events, like uh, say John Calvin posting a little note outside of his church, you know, that's, that'd be cool to actually see it, okay? Um, okay, so we have historical records from our generation. We are the most observed generation in the world in the history of time, okay? Um, so those are positive, are we saying? Okay. Um, can we be more precise on a, on, on a benefit of that? Okay. You know, uh, exactly why do we gain Anyone? Okay, they can trace their family history, right? You know, that might be useful to some people. Okay. Now, I, I, I wanna interject something here. This is kind of metadata. This is data about what we're doing. Um, as part of the AP Computer Science Principles exam, you guys will have to do what's known as a, cre um, sorry, an explore task, okay? Where you'll identify a computing innovation, do kind of, uh, I'm going to use this word even though this is exactly not what it is, okay? Like a research uh, paper about it, okay? Except they don't want a paper. They just want you to do the research and then like address some issues. So one of those issues is what exactly is the computing innovation? So I'm trying to give us some practice in identifying it. Another one is what's the benefit of it, okay? So um, research project, we can call it that, right? They're sensitive. They don't want to call it that. They want to call it an exploration task, okay? whatever. Um, but, uh, but yes, yeah, so, so they'll ask you, what is a, a benefit of this innovation? And, um, and here's, the, here's the thing that I want you to know. You have to identify a benefit, okay? And you have to explain what you think it is a benefit, okay? Like here I have, for greater access to larger amounts of information, it can help us get better research, right? That's excellent. It's vague. Better research for what? Right? I mean, you might want to narrow it down as to exactly what it is that you mean. But here's the thing. You might say uh, having all those cameras in public places will uh, lower crime, right? Because since we're actually looking at it, we can catch the criminals more quickly. And that's, that's something the book talks about, how some criminals were caught more quickly because of that. On the other hand, you might feel, wait a minute, that's actually a privacy violation. What you're really doing is taking pictures of me without my permission. I'm against that, right? And so, so I want to, I, I don't, it's not a benefit. It's actually a drawback, right? It doesn't matter, right? So the person who is grading your explore task might have very strong opinions on the matter of the innovation that you picked. You picked cameras and they feel that that is a terrible thing, but you're saying how wonderful it is. That will not affect your results. Okay, what you have to do is, is state what you think and give me a reason to believe it. By the way, I'm talking in one sentence, okay, not a term paper, right? That's why they're sensitive about that. So, uh, so keep that in mind. That's kind of the exercise that I'm trying to, to get us to do, okay? So let's see. I'm sorry. I'm a little behind reading this. Better security measures, absolutely. Um, Okay, so we can actually see things that are not just uh, around us, but these things that we maybe couldn't get uh, access to before. Uh, you can definitely get pictures here from the old days of like say the Roman Colosseum, right? But uh, right now I'm sure you can go someplace on the internet and actually get views of the Roman Colosseum happening as we speak, right? You know, so somebody's put a webcam on it and you can actually see the people going back and forth and so on. Um, 
Uh, Maxwell, that is an interesting observation. As long as one party involved in the recording approves, no one else needs to be. Yeah, so, so shoot. Um, if you're happy taking a recording and I'm not, that's bad for me, right? You know, uh, I don't get a choice. Uh, it allows us to be consistent with the events, right? A way to verify stories. Uh, this is something that you might want to think about. Uh, I'm sure you've heard about uh, many actions uh, in the last few years of like police uh, uh, maybe overusing their authority. Okay, there was certainly a, a recent case in Utah of uh, police and a nurse that uh, that was a clear, clear overstepping of uh, of authority, and um, could have gotten away with it for many, many years. Can't do it today because somebody had a cell phone and just taped it and put it on the web, and there was an an absolute uproar about uh, the incidents. There are many other ones, okay, where that's uh, also like that. Um, you know what? They become kind of he said, he said stories, right? You know, well, I had to use force because I was in fear of my life. You shouldn't have been in fear of, my, of your life because, you know, I wasn't armed, right? So it becomes very, very difficult to know what actually happened. Hey, if you have video, then we can actually ferret out the truth, and, and that's perhaps good for all of us, right? Um, I think single party is being uh, interpreted in more than one way. A uh, single person in a conversation can decide whether to record a single party, Democrats versus Republicans. There's two different political parties. That's kind of a different use of the term, so be careful. Um, anyway, the, um, the point is to try to identify that. So I think we found some benefits. We found some drawbacks of this. Uh, now I want you to, to think about the third thing, which is uh, what people are more likely to be affected by this, right? And honestly, what, what I want you to do is just to zoom in one group that's affected in a certain way. They don't have to be the ones that are most affected. Just identify one group and how it affects them, okay? What can we come up with? Okay, so uh, we have a policeman right who uh you know hey you're doing excessive force on me all the time says let me have a body camera right now carries a body camera around no complaints because it was a good cop right there was no excessive force happening it was a baseless accusation um hayden has a really good question uh london has all of those cameras so can they monitor terrorist activities answer is yes do you think that they have a lower crime rate because of that who knows right they might actually claim that right uh if nothing else they can they can find the uh, the guilty parties more quickly get them off the streets um i don't know how you would even actually really study that scientifically right because it's not like you can say london has cameras and here's a different london that doesn't have cameras let's see which one has a higher crime rate it's a it's a really difficult question to answer uh, i don't know um it might be harder for criminals to hide. That might be true. By the way, it will also be harder for you to do things that you don't want your parents to know about, right? Even if they're perfectly fine, right? You just don't want them to know that so-and-so is your friend, okay? Okay, so, so we're talking about ways to abuse this technology, right? So, so here's something really interesting. We know the cameras are there. Why don't we, uh, why don't we stage something, right? And so we can actually report a fire, we can report a crime, we can do something, get the first responders to arrive and we're filming them, right? Just kind of uh, streaming it to the world. So, so well, yeah, I, making a call to, a, to an emergency personnel when there is no emergency is an offense uh, by itself. Okay, so, so by the way, look at what, what we did almost right off the bat. I wasn't expecting this to happen right off the bat. Uh, we found a group of people. Uh, I'm gonna just say policemen, okay? Although we could have gone a little broader. Policemen, that is a segment of the US population, right? Okay, so that is actually a group that affects society. And what we're saying is uh, maybe they're facing wrongful accusations because of their job by having a camera that can actually record precisely what is happening and then use it to show that they're being falsely accused. See how the dots are connected? You know, the fact that the camera records what is happening is what lets me show that I'm innocent, right? Um, so there's, a, there's a, a statement. 
uh, people can listen to police radios online. They can't transmit on police radios online. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll take that one. Uh, how about uh, let's see? Well, actually, before I just pick one, uh, I'll take a uh, I'll take a suggestion from you guys. We have seven more kind of innovations. I don't have time to do all seven. Uh, so um, why don't we pick one that you guys found particularly interesting? It's kind of a first come first serve. Okay, so the options are knowing where you are, knowing where even your shoes are. Uh, black boxes are not just for airplanes anymore. Tracing paper. Parking garage knows more than you think. All in your pocket and connecting the dots. Now, you guys have read this, right? Okay. It's really important to actually look at the stuff that he has to say because you wouldn't know uh, some of these facts otherwise. I mean, I was, I was surprised by some of the information here. Okay. All right. So maybe GPS, uh, who feels, uh, who wants to do GPS? I mean, I just want to have kind of a count, right? Um, who wants to do, where are your shoes? Black boxes, GPS, okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, based on the responses, I think we should take uh, GPS and maybe black boxes after that if we have time, okay? So what exactly is the computing innovation for GPSs? Who can tell me? Innovation? Tells you location of things and guides you in real time to find the location. Uh, that's actually two things, right? Okay. Uh, okay, I have a digital map, okay. Now, is this a computing innovation? It's kind of a hard question, really, right? You know. By the way, I, I saw a lot of uh, students who submitted innovations that were not computing innovations. You know, and that was, uh, that's unfortunate because there's so much information, you know, there's so many points that you can get, but you end up losing them all, right? You know, it's like, sorry, no innovation. Okay, so half of computing, half engineering, uh, being able to pinpoint accurate the location of someone or something, absolutely true. Uh, it's not a, okay, by the way, this is true, Hayden. It's not as uh, innovative now as it was when it was first done, right? Um, for your uh, explore task, you actually need to pick something that you can find information about that is within the last year, right? There's, there's, you really won't be able to find much about GPSs that came out in the last uh, year, okay? So, so yeah, watch for that. <laughs> Good point, okay? But we're, we're going we're gonna to take it. We're not going to uh, uh, rule it out based on time. Um, the, uh, I find it a little difficult to claim that this is computing, right? because it's, uh, it's a device, right? Uh, you know, you have satellites up in space that are beaming signals down. You use triangulation to, to, from those to get that. But uh, virtual reality could be one, okay? That would be computing. Uh, why virtual reality? Because it takes a lot of computing power to be able to render that scene, right? Um, with GPSs, I'm gonna argue that it's computing, and what I'm arguing is that uh, each radio is just a radio, right? Is getting a signal from multiple satellites and then he has to do a lot of math computations to figure out uh, the relative speed to those satellites the uh, timing of the signals and use that to triangulate to see well if I'm this far away from that this far away from that this far away from that then I must be in this location okay so all of that is is uh, the fact that you can do that I mean now is a computing innovation so I think we can push it but uh, but it's not a clear computing innovation right so, uh, so I want to tell you, right, that when you're picking your innovation, pick something A, recent, so that it's an innovation. It doesn't have to be within the last year, but there must be information that you can find out about it that's, that's very recent, right? Um, and uh, the second thing that I would say is, uh, you know how we just talked about benefits and drawbacks? 
make sure that you can think of one of, of each, right? Otherwise, pick a different innovation, one that will have benefits and, and drawbacks. Okay. Um, all right, so we have the Nintendo Switch. That would be an innovation, right? You know, it's something new, and then make sure that you can find a benefit and a, and a drawback. Otherwise, it's not a good innovation for this purpose. Okay. But yeah, we have GPSs. So who can tell me that's something positive about having this? Right? In fact, I suspect this is pretty easy. Right? Do you know something positive about having uh, you can find a way around, yeah. You know. Okay, easy, right? Um, finding people lost in the wilderness, absolutely. The ability to play Pokemon Go. Um, I'm gonna nix that one. No, sorry. Uh, navigating areas you've never been in before, absolutely. I'll take that one, okay. Uh, and by the way, that's the intended purpose, right? So it's kind of good that that is the benefit, right? Good job. What about a drawback? Right? If you can't find one, then, uh, then uh, locating holes, decisive people to find serial killers. Uh, I don't know how you do that with GPS, sorry. Government knows where we are, maybe, tracking, okay. Um, okay, I, I want to give you a really strong uh, warning. The drawback is never hackers. Okay, uh, I see that being proposed. The reason uh, is because that's um, that's not a drawback of the actual innovation, right? Somebody can misuse it. That's not a problem with the innovation. That's 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 something that happened. They're using it for a different purpose. So be careful with that. That that's not a correct answer to that, right? And that's kind of. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not telling you that it's not right. I'm just saying for purposes of the AP exam, don't answer it that way. Okay. Uh, you can find people who don't want to be found. Okay, um, obvious example based from the story that we read at the very beginning of class was uh, what if that had been somebody who was fleeing an abusive husband, right? Can't be found anywhere. Oh yeah, there she is, go get her, right? You know, maybe she needs just a little time to hide um, so she can do that. And unless you think that that's not possible, okay? Um, you may have heard that in Dallas uh, this weekend, after the the, uh, the game, the football game, about eight people got killed, you know, in, in a party. People were just gathering to watch the game. Uh, eight people died. That was actually the uh, uh, estranged husband of the person, the lady who was given the party. He was upset that she was in a mood to party and decided to kill a bunch of people. So, so yeah, you know, um, being able to be lost might actually have some benefits. Okay. Um, the GPS may fail, okay? That's not actually a drawback of the GPS, right? You might say that it was unreliable and can give bad information or something like that, run out of batteries, right? Make sure that you can close that loop. Why is that a bad thing? Maybe because I over-rely on it, okay? All right, um, how about uh, people that are affected by this? Okay, can you find a segment of society that's gonna affect it? Yeah, yeah, Hayden, that is correct. Crazy people and hackers are not drawbacks of innovation. They're just side effects that can happen. Uh, hikers, right? Um, you want to do something uh, out in the wilderness where you might possibly be attacked by mountain lions. Um, then, yeah, it's actually good not to get lost. It's, it's good to know where you are. If you need help, it's good to be able to describe where you are. Shipments, right? I want to know where my shipment is at all times. Many of the trucks that you see on the highways have GPSs that actually let the carriers know where things are. Uh, tourists, this is a place to go, right? Uh, by the way, this is where you can mention uh, Pokemon Go, right? You know, I mean, entertainment. Okay. Uh, and, 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 and Tug, yeah, you know, younger people, younger than you, um, might, uh, might uh, uh, over rely on GPSs. Um, my kids, for example, don't really know how to read maps. Okay, so uh, so if they have to read a map to go from one city to another in a car, they're in big trouble. Um, but they just know that they can punch it into their GPS and it'll take them there. So so if they come to a place where it doesn't work, they are doomed. Okay, all right. So so anyway, that's the exercise. Uh, do you have any questions about that? Okay, this is something I really want you to be able to just dissect any innovation and give me those things. What's the innovation? What's the benefit? What's the drawback? And what segment of society is really affected by this? 
right? Like I said, you don't have to identify all segments that are affected. Give me one and explain why they're affected. Okay, I'll I'll do um, uh, another activity to try to make sure that, that this is something that you all master. Okay, all right. So that's actually the first thing that I wanted to do. I think for uh, the rest of this lesson, what I want to do is I want to give you some time to work with uh, Snap. Okay, and if you haven't finished uh, Unit One. Lab three, you want L three, then do that right now. Okay. If you are already in the class, then you can go to uh, wire courses and actually submit your answer. I haven't graded them yet because I'm waiting for everybody to be in the class. Okay. But uh, but we're running out of time on that. So if you if you're not if you are in the class, please do that uh, right now. Okay. Um, the. Uh, it can actually be the same file. If, if you submitted it already, then that's fine. Like I said, I just haven't graded it because I want to make sure that I got everyone. Um, the, uh, if you got it in one, that's okay. I will look at it, okay? Um, and then what I want you to do is to move to lab five, okay? We're skipping four. Actually, we did four. That, that had to do with the, uh, with the innovations. Um, but uh, five, I want you to actually do on Snap. You will find that is very, very quick, okay? So you should probably be able to do that in on the order of like 10, 20 minutes, okay? So if, if you're done with lab three, make sure you submitted it, move on to lab five, you'll be done, submit it. And that's what I want you to accomplish today. If you're still working in three, then we have some time to finish three, submit, get five done. And uh, that's really where I wanna get to by the end of this week, okay? Next week, we'll start unit two. Okay, any questions? All right, let's hit it and I'll be around all, all you know, the rest of the time if you have any questions or whatever. And what I am gonna do is pause the recording so that the folks who be, see it differently, um, uh, you know, don't have to watch me just looking at you. Okay, all right, I'm pausing now.